Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the very first episode of Lardius LP. I will be playing Minecraft in 1.7.2, and I'm really excited to get started, guys. Um, so, this is going to be a survival single-player single, single player series, and my goal for the first episode is just to get a 25-minute... 25 minute episode up and running. Um, we got a couple of extra seconds on the board now. Don't want to die. Gonna eat. Gonna try and find a place. Uh, disclaimer, I've been in this world a little bit before. It has a specific seed that I know. And I've just walked around a bit to try and find out what's going on. I haven't gone, you know, looking for all of the really cool stuff. I haven't found any structures. Structure generation is on. Everything else is basically fine. I do have cheats turned on, so if I need to do something, whatever I feel like, I can. Beyond that, um, this is going to be an LP series. I'm going to set up farms. I'm going to play through, and hopefully you guys are going to come with me on that. So, I'm uh, just letting the world load up a little bit here. And we're in a really cool junction here with... Uh, yeah, the world's still loading up a bit. Frames are dropping severely. We've got... What is this here? We are in Taiga Hills, and over here... It just looks really, really sweet. I do not have amplified settings on, just the standard usage, or standard t terrain generation. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. That should be good. So, I hope you guys enjoy... Uh, enjoy my game. I have been watching LPs for a long time. Uh, CoStar was my very first LP that I watched. Um, when CoStar uh, slowed down posting Co's Quest, uh, I moved over to watching Etho and then the Minecraft guys. Gotta love B00 and Goon. They're absolutely hilarious. I mean, and now I'm watching almost all of them daily. Some of my favorite Content comes out of Etho, B00, and um, well, all of the guys really. Vex, Seth Bling. I know they're a little bit newer, but I enjoy basically all of it. So I'm hoping that this will kind of be in the same sort of vein as them, but at the same time, I'm going to be looking at. Um, buildings in historical styles. Uh, I really love architecture in general. I'm not trained or um, professional in architecture in any way at this point in my life. I took it when I was in high school, but beyond that, wasn't a whole lot that I did. So, um, what I'm looking to do with this portion of it is I'm going to be... Um, I'm going to be taking specific buildings that have meaning for the whole world and moving forward with them as part of my build. So I'm going to try and have some of the style of building from certain different certain periods of ancient Egypt. Um, I watched a really cool documentary yesterday on oh I didn't see that before on Ramses the second and his uh, the capital that he built, which was um, closer towards the entrance to Egypt on the Nile rather than uh, further up the Nile at Memphis or Thebes. So, um, like I said, I'm going to do some stuff in those styles. Man, I didn't know there was all this stuff here. I would have planned for this, but I'm not planning for it. I just wanted to see what was around. So some of the stuff like that. I'd like to also recreate some stuff in... Oh, you killed the sheep. Thank you for not bloodying my hands. Are you going to kill any more? Are you going to kill any more, buddy? Hmm? Yep. Wow, look at him go. Oh, man. He turns nice, and then he goes evil. Hi, buddy. I can't help you at all. But you could give me some more sheep wool. No? Woof, woof. So... You'll have to bear with me. This is my first episode of video recording 
Uh, I, I want to say ever, but I've tried to do this three or four times and haven't been able to. Um, the first attempt that I did was a full 30 minute video of me just messing around on a different seed, um, trying to make it through the night. Um, I went caving and died wonderfully, and then I tried to go back and get my stuff, and I died again. And I went back and reviewed the reviewed the tape, and there was no audio. And I looked at my headset, and it was muted, and I was very sad because um, I was nervous. I had a decent job. Um, oh, I hear zombies. Zombies. Uh, the undead, the walking dead. Yeah, I had, uh... I had worked at it, and I thought it was okay, and... So, here we go again. Oh, nice cave up there. Right now, I'm just walking around. I want to make sure that I've got some stuff so I can make sure I don't die. I'm gonna try and find a nice little place to build a first starter home. Um, that will be sort of the close to spawn base. I'm probably gonna build it back there a little bit. Um, and then after that we'll go it a little further and make different bases. Um, within probably three or four episodes I want to be, um, killing the Ender Dragon. I know that that's a little enthusi- uh, ambitious, but I want to be able to build a really, really high-end XP farm. Um, and then another goal is to have a villager breeding system, uh, that... I will also be recreating on a server I play on. I will be having a second series. Oh man, that's so gorgeous. Oh, I see some stuff down there. Um, I will be posting stuff off of the server I play on. I'm not sure if I'll be creating a separate series for that or not. Um, it all depends on how well this goes. And, you know, welcome to the world with me, guys. <coughs> really, really, I really can't express it enough. I'm excited to do this. Seriously excited to do this. A uh, little bit more about myself. I am a cell phone salesman, um, salesperson, sales dude. I've been selling cell phones for, uh, exclusively for about uh, seven years. I've been murdering pigs as long as I've been playing Minecraft. I've been in retail for ten years, and this seems like a way to just get me a little bit of extra expression. Um, I really cannot say enough about how much I enjoy watching the other LPers do their work. It's just spectacular. Um, that is not what I wanted to do. Cool. Uh, there we go. Um, I'm planning on skipping the nights here, guys. Just FYI. Food. Food. So other things about me, um, I am Canadian, I love Canada, I love Ontario, um, not going to tell you the city I'm in yet, maybe a little bit later, uh, it's, I cannot express enough how thankful I am that I live where I live, when I live, there's an awful lot that I know about history and the differences in periods of time with quality of life and living. And if my family had lived any other time, it would be a much different life for me to be living. And being able to live in Canada and in this state currently, I mean, I don't mean Ontario. Ontario is a province, not a state for my American viewers. What I mean by that is the current organization of things, while not being perfect, is preferable to a lot of other things. One of the YouTube uh, subjects I watch a significant <laughs> amount about is a guy named Neil Ferguson. He's an economist and historian um, who's studied at Oxford, and if memory serves Harvard, although I'm very sorry to, to Mr. Ferguson if I'm wrong there. Um, I'll link some information about him in the bottom. Of, uh, in the description there. Uh, and as a economist and historian, he has a unique pers perspective on what it means to have, or to, to look at prosperity and 
finance uh, over history, over time, um, from the rise of banking with the Medici in the 500 or the 1500s, uh, and even before that. And I mean, where we are right now with democracy and capitalism is not, by any means, the best option in the world. And you know, there's going to be people that are going to yell at me for that. And I'm not an economist, but it's the least worst current option. We don't have a lot of other choices here and that's not because of lack of innovation it's just as technologically advanced as we are we have not come <laughs> to a place yet where we can set aside the need for profit and growth and I know that this is not your standard fare oh man look at how gorgeous that is your standard fare for commentary in a Minecraft video Minecraft video I'm not on Minecraft although if someone wants to tell them about me you know once I'm okay feel free um, once I'm okay, and what I mean by that is, once I'm not, uh, <laughs> hello zombies, I hear you, hey buddy, you wanna die for me? <laughs> Shucks, no iron, sadness, sadness abounds, so, um, as part of this series, some of my objectives are, um, I better at things like video editing and that kind of stuff. I have never done video editing before. I have never done video recording before. Um, this is all new to me, and I am really, really excited for the possibilities coming from this. Um, going back to being thankful for the state that we're in presently. I mean, YouTube is... I mean... I've posted a couple of videos of myself doing jujitsu. Um, I might leave those up. I might not. I'm not 100% sure. But YouTube is such an amazing platform uh, that allows us to, you know, post these amazing videos. Just this amazing stuff here. And, I mean, kids these days. Kids these days. I'm a little older than kids, if you can't tell by my voice. Kids these days, youth, you know, sub twenties, um, they grew up in a world so completely different than I did and than my parents did. I mean, as a cell phone salesman, I've been able to not just watch but take part in the. Um, oh, look at that! That's really cool. Man, that's so cool. I love this new train generation. It just is absolutely gorgeous. Um. I've been walking around in here. I haven't gone this way before. Um, I've been walking around and I've just been like absolutely flabbergasted by how spectacular and how good this sh this game looks now. I've been playing it for three or four years. No, that's not true. Two or three years. I think it was uh, October 2012. 2012? 12 that I started playing. Um, and... Uh, Oh, that's an. I th I mentioned that I'd posted some jujitsu videos before. Um, they're on a different account, so you won't be able to find them through this. But if you do, you could message me. Maybe you'll get a surprise. So, as a cell phone salesman and as a person whose job it has been to put technology into people's hands, I've been in a u unique position to follow um, and have to very quickly come to grips with the changing technologies of the last decade. Um, when I started working for Radio Shack in 2002, there were no flat panel screens at that point. They were all cathode ray tubes. Um, and now you'll be hard pressed to find... Oh, look at all those roses. Now you'll be hard pressed to find uh, any kids these days who know even what those are. Um, <laughs> in talking with customers in there. Oh, look at these two. Oh, it's so amazing. And talking with customers and their parents. Their There's just such a, a huge... Um, oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, I guess I'm down here. There's such a lack of context that the youth have. And I'm not trying to say that to kids watching this to say, you need to know more about things. Oh, whoa. Well, that's neat. What's in here? Uh, nothing. OK. 
Okay, that's fine. Um, that's not me trying to say you guys can grow no more. It takes time. It takes a lot of intentional, you know, I need to remember this kind of stuff. And the environment that especially North American kids have grown up in, which says, you know, this can be thrown away. This can be disposed of. This is so quick to make, so quick to give, so quick to ignore, forget. It, it's meant that everything has been completely temporary. 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 Oh, where am I? Am I in a flower field? I'm a flower forest. God, it's so beautiful. Wow. Um, but there's a need to remember that I don't think many parents have been able to give their kids. Look at the look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Um and I really wish that that would be more of a focus. Um I remember watching um watching the I believe it was the opening ceremonies for the Olympics in 2012. And they were talking about 2,000 years of Olympics. Uh, no, that's not right. Um, they were talking about like 2,500 years of, of Olympic spirit or something like that. This is going back, guys. I'm sorry. I can't remember it, the specifics. Um, and I remember seeing online someone said that, you know, there's only been 2,000 years when... I mean, the fact is that humans have been living on this planet for in their current form for easily 100,000 years, if not 200,000 years. And we've been building places with the elimination of toilets. This is one of my favorite facts in the world. We've been building places designed to facilitate the removal of waste. That means houses with toilets for at least 5,000 years. 5,000 years! That's... I mean... That is... There is no cultural memory that long. There is no understanding that long. Oh, back here. There's... I mean... Nobody remembers 5,000 years. All that we can do is look at what's still popping up. Um, for people that are actually wondering, that is Scara Bray in Orkney, on the uh, just off the northeast coast of um, of the UK, where there are there are 16, I believe, stone huts that were were um, that were exposed after being buried for millennia. Uh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They were exposed. They were exposed by a storm after millennia of being buried. Um, literally stone houses. Like we're talking genuine, actual Stone Age, Flintstones stuff. Um, they had toilets that were designed with pipes to take the waste out into the water. Like I don't care what you think about the world. That is spectacularly amazing. And. That's why part of what I want to be doing here is having, um, I want to create more of a memory for people who experience the world so much through this virtual world that Mojang has created for us. I think that that's really a, a worthwhile use of this medium. And I don't know how successful I'm going to be, um... On some extent, I don't actually care. How come you guys are down here? You spawned on the gravel. That's really interesting. And so, um, it's it's my goal with this series to both have fun playing Minecraft with it, which I really love. I I mean, this game more than any other game I've ever played is just absolutely spectacular. It is. It's my f easily my favorite game in the world, um, and so I want to be able to share things that I know and the things that I love with people that have 
the opportunity or necessarily interest in them so that they can experience the joys that I have had in And with how dark our world is seeming, I think that that's something that's necessary. Anyway, I promise I won't all be heavy philosophical, philosophical all the time. Um, I do not promise that I will not uh, butcher words. Nope, not at all. I'm probably going to butcher words all the time. <laughs> donkeys! Are those all donkeys? Oh my gosh, donkeys! I've never seen donkeys before. I've never seen a flock of them either. So, I know that we came from that ways away. Uh, we've got about five minutes left in the recording time. So, I'm gonna take a quick... Uh, do I wanna take a break? I don't think I wanna take a break. I'm just gonna jump in the water. Um, my channel is not yet set to be monetized, um, as this will be my first video post on it ever. So, that does not mean that I don't want you to like or subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you did. The I don't know how often I'm going to be able to um, how often I'm going to be able to post videos. Working full time and going into Christmas means that I'm going to have very um, little free time. I'm going to try and get at least a couple of 30 minute episodes out a week. Two or three is my goal. Probably Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, but if I can get more than that out, I will. I'm just not 100% sure. Man, this is such a great place. And there's a giant chasm down there. Look at, look at, I mean, Mojang, I really got to hand it to you. 1.7.2 is gorgeous. In a bone! Thank you! Um, and I can't thank Notch enough for making the game as it was before, uh, before Dinner Bone and Jeb took it over. I think that the way that they've dealt with it, where they had two... Look at this. This is this is great. I like this. Where are we? We are. Oh, I've come a long way. I've come a very long way. Um, I think I think I might build my house here. I can only sleep at night. 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 I am sleeping at night. And we're sleeping. And it's morning. I. I really enjoy these big stone things. What are they called? It's just extreme hills? No dirt, eh? So, to recap, um, I'm going to very quickly try and get to the nether, try and get to the end. Um, that's some interesting work right there. Neat. My bed is amazing. Oh, that's what's going on. It's just got did that backwards. Um, so we're going to go to the nether in the next episode. Then we're going to try and find we're going to try and find the end. I have to kill some uh, endermen and at night, which means spending some time outside. Um, having only gotten seven coal or not coal, seven iron this episode, um, I'm going to spend a bit of time uh, getting down to bedrock and uh, just mining out. I'm not going to cave. Immediately, I'm going to do a standard branch mine. And from that, we're going to, again, like I said, after I get some equipment set up, it's going to be nether, ender, dragon, and then, um, and then I'll start setting up some farms. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for watching this first video. I hope I'm not too boring. Um, I'm going to try and bring specific facts that I find really interesting because I just love talking about that stuff next episode. Um, if you guys want to tell me what you want to see, I'd really appreciate it. I want this to be very um, interactive. So just let me know what you want, guys. And I think I'm going to build my first house here. Somewhere in this big stony area. Oh, look at that, eh? Hello, cow. Hello, pigs. Hello, mountain. Hello, mountain. Um, I 
I don't know if I'm going to have an intro song ready to go at the beginning. So if you guys want to let me know about that, I would really... Well, I, no, I won't have any music set up for the beginning. I'm going to edit this in Windows Movie Maker and just put on a very basic... Um, a very, very basic intro and outro. I'm going to link to Neil Ferguson and uh, some stuff about Scarra Bray in the description, just because I'd like to back up what I say about things. Some as well. Um, and that's the end of the episode, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day, and thank you for watching.